This week's teacher walkout feels like deja vu for some longtime educators rallying at the Capitol. News on 6's Kaylee Bourgeois caught up with some teachers who also walked off the job back in 1990. The teachers here say this walkout does bring back memories of the last one, but they say this time things are more complicated. Nancy Rogers has changed a lot since 1990, but her message has not. I've gotten lots of comments on my sign, lots of looks on Facebook. In 1990, Rogers walked out at the Capitol as a Yukon High School teacher. She still works there as a counselor and says compared to the last walkout, this one is much bigger. Well, there's a lot more parents now that are coming out here to support us, which we really appreciate, and I'm so very proud of all the students that have come out here as well. Along with having more people, this walkout will probably take more time than the last one, which Hefner Middle School educator Stan Bryant was also at. Well, it was a lot like this one. It went on for four days. It was a little easier because we were working on one single bill at the time, House Bill 1017, which was a massive reform bill. But on day four this time around, with numerous bills still up in the air, Bryant is urging his peers not to give up. They've got to stick with it. It's tough, but they've got to stick with it. Sign in hand, Rogers, who can't believe she's out here again, has similar advice for young educators. To the younger teachers, I say don't give up on Oklahoma. You know, we're going to work this out. We need you here and keep fighting. You know, it's a cause worth fighting for, absolutely. The teachers we talked to say the last time a walkout ended, they were told Oklahoma education would never be last again. So they're shocked they're out here holding signs trying to talk to legislators once more. On the scene on the story, at the Capitol in Oklahoma City, Kaylee Bourgeois, News on 6.